There's growing concerns today that we could be poisoning ourselves and our children. A potentially dangerous chemical is being used in our plastic baby bottles, food containers and aluminium cans. It's been banned in some countries and British scientists say it can cause serious health problems to babies, breast cancer and hormone imbalances. Today, tonight's Helen Wellings first raised the concerns last year and today, once again, the authorities were ducking for cover. These baby bottles are dangerous. They should be banned. Fears about bisphenol A or BPA are at boiling point because most of us are in contact with this allegedly toxic chemical every day. BPA is in brittle plastic polycarbonates for many brands of babies' bottles and sippy cups. BPA can migrate into that liquid and then is ingested by the child. All of these baby bottles are clear polycarbonate plastic bottles and they are the ones that are contain bisphenol A. BPA is also in water dispensers, some plastic tableware, food storage containers and in the lining of many canned foods. Choices Christopher's in. When you open up a tin can, if it has epoxy resin within it, which is typically the sort of the white lining, that is when BPA can migrate into that foodstuff. Bisphenol A is also in aluminium cans for beer, mixers and soft drinks. The concern? BPA is an endocrine disrupting chemical. It mimics the sex hormone oestrogen. Scientists have linked it to infertility, problems with reproductive development in fetuses and children, early puberty in girls, obesity, breast and prostate cancer, diabetes, thyroid malfunction, even ADD. It's been a big issue in America and Canada. Well, it's been on the news for years. Nothing in Australia. Anti-BPA campaigner Nadia Dunsing wants action. Denmark, Canada and some US states have banned BPA in babies' bottles or have legislation pending. Even the biggest baby bottle makers in the US have stopped using the chemical. We're not in a position uh, to, to ban anything. Since Today Tonight first raised the potential dangers of the chemical last year, the buck passing from those you'd think are responsible for public health has surged. Food Standards Australia and New Zealand's chief scientist, Dr Paul Brent, says as BPA is not a food, it doesn't have the power to ban it. No one seems to want to take responsibility. The Therapeutic Goods Administration says it's not up to them. The Federal Department of Health referred us back to Food Standards Australia. If they decide BPA is unsafe, they'll refer it to the Australian Competition and Consumer Commission for a possible recall. But that's unlikely. The levels that, that we're being exposed to, in our view, based on the weight of scientific uh, opinion and evidence, is that they're safe. Nadia Dunsing says there are safe alternatives to BPA. She's manufactured these smart baby bottles BPA-free. The smart baby bottles are made from polyester sulfone plastic, which will not release any chemicals or bisphenol A. Manufacturers are not required to disclose the type of plastic on the label, but some do use number symbols. It's a little triangle mm -hmm. and it has the number seven. Right. And seven stands for other plastics, including bisphenol A. So we know then that's an indicator that this one does have it. There are alternatives which are out there. They should be used. We should be phasing out these kind of risky products as soon as possible. And glass and stainless steel bottles and containers are good alternatives and there's more information on all of those bottles on our website.